Hi everyone, this is Jenny. Today I'm going to show you how to convert fonts and text to outlines. You might be wondering what that means and why it's important. So, let's start from the beginning. This is a live line of text. It's editable, meaning I can delete, add, or edit what it says by typing into this field. It's pulling its style from something called a font. There are hundreds upon thousands of different fonts that you can choose from. As you can see here, this is only a portion of them. Some of these fonts come prepackaged in your design software, but other specialty fonts can be obtained by downloading from a website for free or for a fee. If you send a file to me to open that still includes live text, this is what I would most likely run into, missing fonts. It's critical to convert your fonts to outlines before you send us your file, since we cannot purchase fonts for client-supplied artwork. Time will also be lost on the job if we have to contact you regarding missing fonts. Converting your font to outlines takes the live line of text and makes it a vector shape. The line of text is no longer type editable, but it is print ready since you could send it to any print house and they'd be able to successfully open it with the vector text intact. Once you're finished editing your file, go to Object and click on Unlock All if it's an option. We want to make sure we select and convert all of the text in your document. Now select all of the art by going to Select All. Or you could use Command A on a Mac, then go to Type Create Outlines. All of your text should be outlined. To make sure all fonts are converted, go to Type, Find Font, and if the Fonts and Document field is blank, then all of your fonts have been converted. This is very similar to Illustrator's procedure, so let's go to Object and click on Unlock All if it's an option. Unfortunately, I don't have anything locked on this one, so we don't have anything to select here. Again, we want to make sure we are able to select everything. Now go to Edit Select All, a little bit different than Illustrator, or Command A on a Mac still works. Um, on some versions of InDesign, you'll need to convert your bullets or glyphs and numbering to text before you can outline it. So let's go to Type Bulleted and Numbering List and select Convert Bullets and Numbering to Text if it's an option. I don't have any bullets or numbers that need to be converted to outlines. Now go to Type Create Outlines. Again, you can double check that this worked by going back to Type and selecting Find Font. If the Fonts and Document field is blank, then you successfully converted everything to outlines.